This podcast features adults using adult language. You have been warned. Hello and welcome to Hit or Glitch, a podcast where we explore the multiverse of geek culture and experiment with rules and systems. This season we are exploring a galaxy far, far away. They did it. They escaped with their lives and loot. In this epilogue we'll get some closure on a few last loose ends. So, uh, an hour later, you two wake up. Yay. All right. Looks like he's got you attached to a back to pump, and uh, you will be, you will have healed a box of people in that hour. Yes, one box. I am awake. Okay, so I wake up, look around, smile. A it's my smiling zect- zecto. Huh? Oh. No. The first thing you oh. see is a smiling Zexto. Zexto. We're on my ship. What are you doing on my ship? Oh, right. Never mind. I remember. So, yeah. Okay. I will get up and I'm immediately going to the cockpit. Who is flying? Gale. What is the gimp doing at the controls of my ship? I got you off the planet. That's what I'm doing. Congratulations. Get off. She gets up. And I drop in. Daggers at you. And then off to the back. So what happened while I was out? <laughs> you hear a uh, <laughs> kind of laughter from behind. Shut up, girl. So what happened? <clears throat> oh, it goes back. I can understand you. Oh, you you do speak what? I speak I speak to you. Yeah, so basically, you give me the rundown of everything yep. that happened last episode. I'll catch you up. I'll say that uh, there was an, another one of the crews got there. There was a little bit of an altercation. We'll probably need a fresh coat of paint on the top of the ship. Otherwise, nah. Don't worry about it. That's what she's built for. She took it like a champ. Mm-hmm. That's my girl. So and I'll reach down team. and pull out another death stick. Oh, and I'll mention that uh, our buyer has changed. Uh, yeah. Uh, while he's doing that, I will get my bearings, look around, probably look for one of these people or the Zydex, since he's the one that was I was with last. Okay. Zidane's in his quarters. Yeah, you're, you're walking through the corridors, and Eva is standing outside his quarters. Uh, what's going on? Change of plan. Zidane tried to sell us out to another ship crew. So what's the new plan? We're going to take the stuff and sell it to the Resistance. It's going to hire suspiciously. And, uh, Whose plan is that? Everybody. We were really left with no choice. I mean, the guys that Zidan tried to sell us out to wanted to destroy it. And without Zidan's help, we can't really sell it to the First Order. So, it doesn't leave many buyers. I would like to get a check on her. <laughs> I think of everybody on the crew, she's been, her intentions have been judged the most. <laughs> It's going to be what looks empathy? Yeah. Minus two. Well, she was the only woman on a ship for a long time. <laughs> That's true. Two. She's not lying to you, but she also seems pleased with your changing events. I walk away and I'm going to go find the Wookiee. He's in the bridge. Just outside of it. Did we get the items? I'll nod at you. And where are they now? Look down at his belt. There's the lightsaber. And the other? I'll pat like a pocket somewhere. Do you mind if I see it? Hmm. (laughs) Well, I'll pull it out, look at you a little bit, and then hand it to you. And I will be in my room. 
is well into the. Oh wait, this isn't a Sith holocron. We're okay. No. You you have less possibility that the person watching it is going to just suddenly come out and kill everyone. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to need intelligence computer. Ten successes, and you have a number of tries equal to your best score. Do I get any benefit from the quote with the force knowledge? No. No, this is to repair the damage. Because <laughs> I wasn't gentle with it. This is a uh, champ style. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's you so can't, rugged. You Find somebody to, else, dude. Yeah, you can't get ten successes on that. It can't explode. I, I will find somebody. I will probably go to the... Uh, uh, one you met in the hallway? One we know that... I think he's trying to avoid interaction with Eva and this object. Yes. Oh. Well, uh, then... That leaves the Wookiee. I can't do it. That does not leave the lucky. Yeah. Oh, right. I can repair. I don't do with stuff with computers. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm going to go to the guy that we found on the ship that was helping us build all the stuff. Me and Tanab? Yeah. Okay. And ask him to accompany me and see if he can repair it. While he's doing that, I'm running the systems check on everything and readjusting my chair. So that fits me again. It doesn't appear she changed it. That is the weirdest thing ever. How can she fit in my chair? Shorter than her. You don't know? Okay. You kind of I will leave her. you with that mystery. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out in the post game QA. Actually, she's the assist member that killed all the Jedi and has been convincing us she looks like a crippled old woman the whole time. Do, 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 do. That's not straight out of Gotor. These guys are all sorts of mixed up. Uh, yeah. He's willing to help, sure. Okay. Can I ask what the dice pool is real quick? No. Nah. So we're still in the hyperspace, right? Actually. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you're going to realize that, like, that's probably the first thing you'd look up mm -hmm. where you're at. Um, you're on the third of, like, the five jumps it took you to get to that place. Mm -hmm. So you're three of five jumps back to the university. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you can give me a intelligence computer to run your systems. Two. Okay. Uh, everything seems to be in order. Okay. Scrolling through the history, you have an alert for a hole breach. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you have the discharge of the cannon. Okay. And a secondary access hatch. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, Gurr. Why'd you access the secondary access hatch? I didn't. Well, who did? Hmm. And why? From what you told me, it didn't seem like you guys needed it. For me. Well, I still don't know anything about a droid and an ion bomb, so... I'm gonna think we have stowaways. Yeah, go, go check on that. Alright. I'll, uh... I'll pull up the comlink. Okay, hey, Stormtrooper. Mr. Bombman. What? Uh, we might have stowaways. Somebody access the secondary access hatch. I'm sending Gurr to go check it out. Got any clue what it might be? It could be that prisoner that Beaver took a while back. Hmm. Prisoner? Oh yeah, we, we took that, uh, the, 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 what's his name? Prisoner. The, the guy who was leading Conlon. the room. Yeah, yeah. Could be him. Where did we stash him? Or where did she stash him? In the midway. Hmm. He's still unconscious? She has had, she's had uh, his ex still keep him sedated. Nothing. Well, then my theory's wrong. Obviously. Medgana has been keeping him sedated. Okay. 
he was happy to do so because, well, he's not bloodthirsty and there's less chance of him doing something that's going to get himself killed from you guys if he's unconscious. That's <laughs> definitely true. Very much true. I mean, this guy took my shit. I, I really want to kind of want to kill him, but hey, him being sedated is embarrassing and uh, we can do stuff to him later. Well, anyway, yeah, I'll uh, go over to that secondary hatch. It's to the outside. What part of the ship is it on? Ventral bow. Hmm. So the front bow. Hmm. How big of a hatch is it? It's big enough for a work person to get in. Like for someone to crawl in and get yeah. it into the guts. Hmm. Anything there? Give me a wits investigation or survival. Uh, investigation. Is that one of your good dice pools? Mm hmm. <laughs> awesome. Nick Cohen. I'm, I'm, I'm a bounty hunter. Oh. Investigation is part of what I do. <laughs> I mean, it's not a great dice pool, but it's pretty good. I uh, only got one. One more? Yep. Uh, one's enough. Oh. No! Uh, you crawl up in there, and it's a tight fit for you. Yeah. But you're, you're looking for it, and you see that someone tried to stash a small EVA suit up by some of the pipes. Hmm. What? Well, I'm going to pull that out and see about what's, like, is it, do I rec is it something on our ship, from our ship? It would fit him if it was shaped different. Yeah, I'm gonna comment everybody and be like, we have an intruder. Mm, I just got the ship back. If it, somebody screws around with it, ooh, we'll kill him. We'll find him. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna crawl back out of there and then start. This was on down over comms, so you know about this. Don't look at me like you. Well, want to I mean, something. do I know the size? Like, Maybe would I know there. that you it would fit to... him if it was shaved differently? Mm -hmm. that, that. That's why I'm not true. making a comment. That's why I, I'm not metagaming. I wasn't there. You I don't know that. You could go down and see the suit, though. Yeah. But, but I'm just going to sit back, relax, and hope nobody crosses the hallway where I'm standing. All right. Until see. somebody relays pertinent information to me, I'm, I mean, I'm staying in the turret. I'm going to go ahead and use the force and search and see if I can figure anything out. As I start searching, I will say, and they seem to be small. Their EVA, EVA suit is small. Okay, now I will comment. Small enough to fit a Gand. Small enough to fit a Falling. So, but a Gand. Do we have any other small creatures aboard this ship? A Zexto. Would it, is it shaped for the Zexto, though? Yeah, that's what I thought. So the only creature that I think that it could fit is the Gand. Mm. That's my comment. This is, and that was my exact thought, was which is waiting for it, the size of the suit. Hmm, that might fit a Gand. He didn't have to sneak aboard. I know he didn't have to sneak aboard. But, but he, he might, might have want found to sneak an EVA suit. Board. And stashed it somewhere and might be making a plan. We are kind of reckless. And I am but kind of distracted. The question is does this suit have any insignia on it? Yes. Okay. It is from Yagdol Graveyards. Now, I seem to remember that Wait. being one of the different groups it's when I was checking out the other ships. Up. What? Wasn't that the ship we just blew up? It might be. Or you I just can't remember up. for sure. There also appears to be painted on, like, uh, what looks to be tribal insignia. Or tribal marking. Hmm. That's concerning. Well, the species on the planet is far too large to fit inside of this, unless it was like a child. <laughs> Walk down the ship. Don't have that. 
Yes, we didn't we didn't spring for the improved uh, bulkheads or anything. I'm, I'm saying throw everyone in their quarters. Then who's going to look through the ship? Well, the people that are trusted to look through the ship will look through the ship. Well, everyone else that you're talking about is in the med bay. So then seal off the med bay for a minute. Well, and let's med bay and something else. Zyda has quarters. The Oh, Zaiden, yeah, he's, but he's locked in his quarters. That's I didn't, anything. I didn't yeah. lock it. I don't know if somebody else did. But Viva did. Viva did. Okay. Basically, what I'm saying is, lock everybody into an area that we know they already are, and leave them there. Search the rest of the ship. If we can't find that person on that search, then we go in and inspect the areas that we left every other individual. Okay. Okay. All right. Viva volunteers to. Leave. Secured this, the Alderanian Shoal survivors. Okay, that sounds I'm good. not sure we should trust her. Wait to call. Well, I mean, three. There, you you sense that there's a. Uh, a parallel level of excitement that mirrors your own over these artifacts. I have two suspects and I don't want it to be either of them. <laughs> okay. But yeah, start searching the trip, ship piece by piece. Yup. Alright. Uh, let's make this a teamwork test. Everyone makes their own roll. Yay, teamwork. What are we rolling? It's going to be a wits investigation. Kerrigan's helmet helps. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And you can make a number of rolls equal to your dice pool. Oh. But let's do this one at, one at a time. Okay. Uh, three on one. I got uh, five on three dice. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy with the largest dice pool got the least a number of successes. Yeah, I got one. Wow. Seven on seven. So that's 15 and 16. Okay. That was a pretty spectacular first roll. Less for everybody but me. Yep. I got a lot of tens. A lot of tens. You guys have cleared half the ship. Roll again. Roll again. That's more worth feeling. I have three. Three. Dose. Five. Two. Seven. Two. Nine. I'm just good, okay. guys. That's 25 total. Oh. Roll again? Or no. No, no. no. Um, 30 minutes we just abandoned did a whole ship. Yeah. I was crawling through the small spaces. Hey, that's what I do. Okay. Make me a wits composure roll, please. Everybody? Tim. Just Tim? Yep. And, oh, well, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter because my helmet. You're, no, your helmet doesn't help him. Yeah. Oh, crap. Zip. Okay. Zip zero, stingy with the new round. Surprise round. Yep. <laughs> and he's at one HP. Oh, you're so going down again. <laughs> <laughs> this one might kill me. Do you have penalty? Like, did you subtract die for his armor and stuff? Oh no, I didn't. What's your armor? You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Okay, my armor is uh, three slash four. Yeah. So my defense is one. If I get that. No, the defense doesn't matter. Defense no defense for you.
It went from probably being fatal to missing you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, not necessarily missing you, but your armor is going to take the hit. hit. As uh, you're crawling through the small spaces, uh-huh. you'll, you fit, mm-hmm. and you know that you're looking for this. Mm-hmm. You guys have been coordinating your search, uh, and you're clearing the ship quick. Um, uh, largely in part to you two. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was a fist bump for those of you that didn't hear it. <laughs> There's no way they heard a fist bump. <laughs> you, uh, you're crawling back toward the engine because mm-hmm. you guys are basically sweeping back mm-hmm. from the front. Sweeping back. When out of the darkness, uh, a blaster bolt. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. They're not playing around. Initiative. I was kind of assuming it was going to be a stun round. Oh, gosh. Nice. Thank you. How many tens did you just roll? I rolled two tens. I think me too. Man, I want to join the exploding initiative group. Hey, for once, I'm not in the exploding initiative group. <laughs> Use the lightsaber. I don't he have has a lightsaber. And he ain't gonna cut up my ship. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I got him! <laughs> oh, I also took my own leg off. <laughs> so, uh, the good news is I got him. The bad news is there's more holes in the ship. <laughs> The really bad news is... It went through the life support. <laughs> oh. no, no, that was the whole point. The really bad news is... Scott. <laughs> I got 34. Carrying? Uh, 7 plus 15. 34. 7. Gee, my new <laughs> And uh, what is your guys' initiative modifier? 7. 7. <laughs> All right, high or low? <laughs> I'm gonna uh, go high. Roll off. Four. Six, four. He goes first. Okay. So I assume I heard the blaster shot. Yes. And I would have radioed. Ah! I will make my way towards him since we were coordinating. Okay. What's your speed? My speed is eleven. And I will be drawing my chain as I go. I'm going to shoot him. With what? I have a rifle. In that small of a space? Not Not in this. Okay. Yeah, that would be (laughs) too small. I'm going to hide. (laughs) <laughs> Full defense. <laughs> All right. Uh, give me a wits crafts roll. I'm gonna shoot him with what? <laughs> my finger. Can I get a bonus because it's my ship? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll give you plus two. Uh, the moto boner over it being his ship. Like, <laughs> hey, most of the points for this ship came from me. Like almost all of them. Like, yeah, thirteen points of the ship came from me. Four. Hey, okay. Now, uh, do you want to be in the corridor? Do you want to be in this confined space still, or do you want to try to get to an exit and drop out? Well, they're not exactly going to be able to get to me, and I kind of want to bring the fight down where we can get to them better. So, yeah, I'll drop out. Right. You, you rolled high enough to do that. Awesome. And I will radio to everybody where he is. Okay. Could be a she. Uh, in the flash of the blaster light, mm-hmm. you caught uh, 
two round eyes and uh, and like a little snarling teeth. Yeah. I know how that cute. is. If he lives. So rabbit Ewok. <laughs> it might very well be. Oh, that would be hilarious. Your turn. At a speed of 14, how close am I to the situation? I, I'm saying because the ship is not very big, you guys are all basically within one turn's travel of each other. Especially over 12 speed. Mm -hmm. So, because here's my thought. Based on where the shot came from, I assume that he's somewhere in the bulkhead. Yes. Is there another vent nearby that area where I'm at already? It's cracks. Three. There is an access. It's not close. I know I carry them. I just don't know where the paper went that had them. My character would know this, but I personally don't, so I'm looking for the GM to help with the repercussions of throwing a tear gas grenade into the bulkhead. Well, it will spread throughout the ship. This section of the ship, and everyone will have to defend against it. Minus me. Minus you. Yeah. Right. If, we, if if I lock myself in my suit, I'll have to deal with it still. Okay. And he has a breath mask. Yeah, but is he currently wearing it? No. But he still has well, his person. Yeah, I wasn't wearing it anymore because we dealt with that issue. And he's not either. So it'd just be these two who really got affected by it. I, on the other hand, will not be. And all of the people that are in the effect. Yeah, but they're in sick bet. <laughs> All right, my other thought is I've got a stun grenade. Do you want to stun our systems? I don't know if that would actually affect it like that. No, any EMP would affect our systems. I'm going to check a stun grenade in there. Uh, it's not going to get there. Not going to get there? Okay. Like I say, it's... You have you know where an access point is, but it is not nearby where he said the shots came from. Okay. You would have to crawl through the tunnel. I am not crawling through any tunnel. But it's over by the engines. But I know that there is an exit point from inside that area near the engines. Yeah. I'm going to go there. Okay. <laughs> And I'm going to wait for him. I'm going to save my action for him to come out from those vents. Stun baton drawn. Okay. You've got a stun baton? I do. Did not know that. Yes. He is more of a proper bounty hunter with multiple different weapons. You know, one for each type of situation. One you got to take him alive. One you got to vaporize him. And one you just got to bring back the head. Mm -hmm. You hear crawling... Toward the exit that you came out of, a, a heavy blaster pistol comes out. It's being held by a little furry arm. Mm. You're gonna get shot in the face again. I thought I was hiding. Well, you got out of the corridor, so he he had to move to come get you. Okay. But it's either that way, and he. Saw you go down the hole. Mm. Okay. But your plan worked. He's yeah. closer to being exposed. Yeah. <laughs> That's something. Remember, my armor is 3 4. You know, I already subtracted. Good. Two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm unconscious again. That means I have another aggravate. Yep. 
That means I have a total of uh, four aggravated and uh, two not. Hey, it looks like the gimp's so, flying uh, again. Can I get to where he w is just been shot? Having heard the shot? At the end of your turn, yeah. Okay, like that's going to burn my whole turn? Yeah. All right. Well, well, I mean, I can't make an attack at the end of that. No. Okay. Well, he's going to hear a lot of... You can of have your... You can have no. it spinning up. I'm not, I'm not using the gun inside oh, the ship. Oh, sweet Jesus, thank God. <laughs> no, th there's two possibilities. One, he gets, he's within reach of the Tetsubo, and the other option is uh, I do the horror movie trope and start ripping holes in the <laughs> <laughs> thing from the, the hallway. All right. You're coming from aft. You're mm -hmm. coming from four. Okay. You guys are both coming down the corridor, and you see the little hand yeah. poking out of it. Yeah. Can I get to it? And do... <clears throat> yeah, we'll get to it, and I am going to. Well, that's on all now. <laughs> He's got a chain weapon. He can just wrap up and then drag out. Yeah, do yeah. that. That's what I'm going to try and do. All right. <sighs> what do I need to subtract? His defense is three, and I believe it's a minus two for that maneuver. Mm -hmm. To try to grapple somebody with the chain. No, because of my chain style. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Minus three. Three. Yeah, you got him. Yeah, him out. Yeah, that's gonna be contested strength, dexterity strength. I think. Do I get any bonus for the chain being wrapped around him? Uh, no. Four. Four. Uh, you go to pull, and he's <coughs> like the, his arm comes out. And uh, you see, like, the side of his little ear, but he does catch himself in the opening, so you're not able to pull him all the way out. You're making your way to the engine room? You're there? I'm there. Mm -hmm. The hyperspace engine is thrumming along. Do I see or hear anything out of the ordinary? It's investigation. Nope. Savage one. Because it's you, you know what to look for. Uh, yes. He has. You notice at least one uh, satchel charge. It's been placed. Oh dear. Oh boy. Oh. Sh <laughs> Time to get to work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sanker. As long as he doesn't set it off, we might be okay. Which I don't think he is if he knows his ship was blown up. Oh, yeah. I think I seem to remember us going, we won't need a backup hyperdrive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I seem to remember that, too. Um, hey, they have been hawk as have a backup hyperdrive. I am going to uh, uh, radio in. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. I just... I am going to radio in for the other bomb tech to come into the engine room. If I'm going to die. I'm not going to die alone. <laughs> All explosive ordnance disposal teams to the engine room. <laughs> well, that's fine. Okay. So he says that over the intercom of the ship. And all of a sudden everybody starts screaming. <laughs> not again! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. If you're bounty hunters and spacers and you're freaking out about that call, you probably have no business in space. Hey, I'm unconscious. There's no way I'm freaking out. Give me a strength. I'm surprised you're still alive. 
Hey, better luck um, even good. If, it, if he's trying to break the grapple, it's just uh, he's, he's not trying to break the grapple. Oh, okay. But I know he's gonna want to control the arm with the gun on it, so I'm, like, I'm just having him roll. Um, wits strength. Wits strength is my any kung fu or anything you need. And Kung Fu Acrobatics Chain Weapons and the Force will be different specialties. I'll give you one for the chain weapon. Yeah. Four. Okay, so your one net hit is going to add an additional penalty to his attack roll. What's your armor? Against blasters? Yeah. Seven. Seven blaster proof? Yeah. And get one success. Oh well. Uh he's he lifts his blaster, levels it at you. He's obviously trying to control the arm. And is actually helping. mostly successful. Yeah, but this he walk seems to be wily. So like, yeah, just trying. <laughs> finally, gets a shot up. Yeah. yeah, move up the rest of the way, and then give him a nice <laughs> taste. If, yeah, <laughs> large stick to the face. Yeah, I'll use my full dice pool for this. He did shoot at me, and he took out my pilot again. But I don't think I need to use a... Uh, well, I don't have any willpower left anyway. So no, just normal normal attack. All right. His defense is three. Hmm. Only got four. All righty then. Because <laughs> it's yep. And then he comes out of the. Uh, yep. yep. <laughs> and uh, down he comes. I hate, I hate to do this, but uh, I don't know if electricity travels along chains very well. It's a metal chain. It's a. Uh, Mm. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Stamina willpower. <laughs> I mean, it has to travel through the Ewok and then down the chain. Oh, we're, I'm not 100% sure it's hand. an Ewok yet. No, he said Ewok. Yeah. Suck it, Disney. <laughs> <laughs> so is he just making the stamina what? resolve? Resolve stamina. Resolve stamina. A rabid Ewok with explosives and a heavy blaster pistol? Holy shit. Yep. That is one BA. It was their cruise COD guy. Three. <laughs> Wait, the guy I was working with? No. Oh. No. He was the uh, third uh, People resistance. People we blew up. You crew. shot. Oh. The pacifist cruise COD no, guy. No, no, no. Oh, yeah? Oh, I was wrong. What? Um, I think it's from the Rebellion crew. Yeah. Yeah, you let go of the chain. Yep. I'll pick up the Ewok and then start slowly searching him for, or well, carefully searching him for uh, a detonator or anything and weapons and stuff to disarm from him. Well, he the most obvious thing is the thermal detonator that's on his belt. Yeah, that's that's coming off. Wits investigation. Okay. And I thought you watched the print. They normally are. Yup, nub. Yup, nub. It's not rolling well on this. It's just one again. I mean, it's something. 
Uh, yeah, you find only an empty sack. An empty sack. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What kind of sack? Like a, a satchel. Oh. Hmm. Ouch. Well, I'm gonna assume explosives. that that's the uh, reason why our uh, EOD guy is calling in explosives team to the engineering department. Which is me and the other guy from the <laughs> Alderanian Souls. Yeah, Alderanian Souls. Has he uh, come past me towards the engine room yet? No, he probably wouldn't be coming past you. You guys are on the lower deck. Okay. Well, then I'll go towards the engine room and make sure that he showed up. Doesn't matter if he does or and, not. And, I'm going to get this shit started. And leave me laying on the ground, dying. That's fine. Again. You're a dick. <laughs> There's another guy there. There's a medic there. And I'm carrying an Ewok. We, 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 I mean, we, that's not really that noticeable of a weight, but... <laughs> What are you going to do? I will check on the pilot and then try to get him to sick back. Again. Well, that means I'm pretty much out for the rest of this game. Again. What's your stamina? Uh, like... No. Oh, uh, two. I thought it was only one. Two successes. Knock off another box of lethal. Oh, it heals? No. Or you take another box of lethal. Oh. They hurt him? Hmm? Okay. That means I have one box before I'm dead, dead. Okay. Roll again. He can't take him to the medic room? Well, he can stabilize him here, or he can take him to sick bay. He said he's going to attempt to stabilize him here. Do right. you have any willpower left? Nope. Zero. Dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> so I'm dead? No. No. Again? Parker Factor 5000. Two more. Okay. Now you take a box of them. Now I'm dead. Now you're dead. Ah. <sighs> Would you excuse me for a moment? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't jump punch me. It wasn't intentional. <laughs> He's going to go yell. Yep. <laughs> He's going outside. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, uh, this is a normal thing for Tim. Not the yelling, but the dying. So. <sighs> All right. Wits investigation. <laughs> okay. Or or you can try to disarm the one that you found. I'll try to disarm the one I found first. The less of the explosion, then the more comfortable I feel about searching for more. Okay. So I'm assuming EOD applies in this situation. Yes. Well, it just means you, you don't take the negative when disarming someone else's explosives. And I've also got EOD as a specialty. Plus, I've got make do. I don't exactly have all the tools on me right now. But that also minuses penalties. Well, so. me and Tineb comes to oh, the okay, good. with the necessary tools that you guys need. This is what I do. He will add two to your roll. This is definitely what we do. <laughs> five. Yeah, five. Right, you disarm this one. I'll look. Uh, it appears that this is a. It has a radio detonator on it. And about this time, I'm walking in with the Ewok. Can I figure out the frequency? Uh, yeah, you can attempt to do that. Okay, what's the roll? Wits computer use. Okay. We have a we have a communications jammer on the ship, right? Yeah, we have an area jammer. Perfect. It's not I, on. Yeah, but if I figure out the frequency, then I'll say jam that frequency. No, it jams everything. Yeah. 
That's fine. I don't give a shit. Well, then <laughs> so, we don't need to find the frequency. We can just jam everything. It's a good point. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll radio in for somebody to flip on the area jammer. Um, we're kind of off here, except for Diva, who's watching down. And the other 50 people that are down there, one of them can't go flip on the area jammer right quick. Diva will go Perfect. Flip the cockpit and activate the jammer. I will go. Okay. All right, so now that the area jammer, I'll wait for the area jammer to get on, and then I'll find the rest of them. Did we find any in our investigation throughout the ship? No. Uh, looking at that, well, I'm going to ship, like, pull out this satchel that I got off of the Ewok and be like. We need to make a dexterity. Ah, uh, hmm. Wits dexterity, I guess. You too. I got three. Four. Okay. As soon as the jammer gets kicked on, uh, the other charges explode. Oh. And, uh... It was that kind of radio detonator, the one that's like, keep broadcast or keep, or stay silent as long as I'm broadcasting. Yep. Would my character have known that? If you had bothered with the intelligence computer test that I asked you to make. Savage. <laughs> All right. So the question is, what else did he uh, put charges on? He... Are you going to attempt to shield the Ewok? From an explosion? Yeah. Well, I don't know that my uh, pilot friend is dead right now. And I thought he was taken oh, care of when I walked away, because the medic was right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I do want him alive. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to, like, throw myself in front of a giant beam collapsing or something, but... I mean, when I turn away, I'll, he'll be partly out of blast. In a bad way. Okay. You're going to take three lethal, and you're going to take four. My armor explosion. doesn't negate any of this? Hmm? My armor doesn't negate any of this? Can you pass me a pen, please, or a pencil? And, wow. Okay. Well, I'm an egg. I mean, if it's that big of an explosion where it's, like, life-threatening... Probably not going to protect the Ewok any longer because I don't want him to be alive while I'm dead <laughs> or unconscious. Oh, well, no, trust me. I'm upset. And that Ewok, I want that Ewok to live so I can make him suffer. Besides, it's like your cousin or something. No, completely different evolutionary track. <laughs> Well, I might not be dying alone. It's a possibility. Yep, uh, there are two explosions in the engine room. Uh, one of them was on the primary reactor and the other one was on the ion engine. So he was going to hit your ion engines, primary reactor, and the hyperdrive. So the hyperdrive's still going. Not after that explosion. Not after the... Yeah. The hyperdrive's the one that didn't get fragged. Everything that we're coming so, out of hyperspace like right now. Why doesn't the armor help at all? Because these are internals. No, I mean, why doesn't my armor help me at all against the incoming damage? Well, I didn't want to bother with calculating the chunky salsa effect uh -huh. with an explosive device. Two of them. Yeah. Plus secondary explosions. So I just made it a simple dexterity wits saving throw gotcha. against seven boxes of damage. Mm. Hmm. Would you like me to calculate the chunky salsa effect? It'll take too long. All right. So at this point, we're coming out, right? Yes. 
you have no power. So oh, so yeah, we drop out of hyperspace, and the ship is dead in the water. And is the Wookiee down? Oh yeah. Is the so Ewok? is the Ewok down? The Ewok's down. So is uh, me and Tanab is the, he he sort of gets up and looks for a fire extinguisher. <laughs> okay, and he's in a bad way. Tanab's in a bad way. I'm I'm. Injured, but I'm not. I'm more pissed than anything else. Right, because you never got hit by anything. Is exactly. Is the Ewok still alive, in any manner? Wits medicine. Uh, you should probably take care of other stuff first. Go ahead and roll that chance die. You can't tap. All right. So, explain the situation to me. What am I looking at? I got me and Taneb, who's looking for a fire extinguisher. What's the area around me look like? Does the Wookiee... The Wookiee's is, alive, but bleeding out. So the Wookiee's bleeding out. Well, you, uh, yeah, I can't. Uh, you don't have any wits or medicine, so... So I'll get on the that. comms... So and, they're both dead, for all you know. I'll get on the comms and ask for a medic team down the engine bay. They're dead. Never mind. Shit. At that point, I'll over the comms say, so is the pilot. Well, no, the comms are dead. Yep. Uh, yeah. So there's no, like, we're... we're well, your comm links work, because they have independent power. <laughs> okay, so then I'll reach out to... It's just a matter of, like, switching from it being slave to the ship to its own channel. <sighs> Nobody in med has a comm link, do they? Viva does. Viva's not in med. She's in the cockpit. But she's nearby. She can get the med. Yeah, I guess I'm going to radio in directly to these two and basically say, hey, we need a medical team down to the engine room like yesterday. And then I'm going to get a fire extinguisher and start putting stuff out. It's a pass. Me and Taneb gonna give me anything? He's gonna make his own roll. Okay. It's not terrible. He got four. Three. Four. You guys get the fires out. Perfect. So there's no more immediate danger currently, correct? And that's when you get there, okay. along with the Zexto. Who's got his medical pack on? Stabilize the Wookiee, then tell me if that Ewok is still alive. Okay. Uh, well, he, well, the Zexto looks at the Wookiee, I'll look at the Ewok. Okay. Oh my god, the Wookiee will live. How many boxes of damage do you have? Uh, all of them. I have seven. Oh, yeah. He stabilizes them. Okay. Was that on the first roll? Mm hmm. Okay. It's like a champ. Yeah. Boom. Brah. I got two successes checking on the Ewok. Um, he's gonna live. It seems he's, he's mostly unconscious from the stun. <coughs> Good. I'll relay that information. Good. Somebody find me rope. And Why don't you start by fixing the ship? Because you have no life support. I got time. The ship has batteries. Emergency power is kicked in. Exactly. I've got time. Yeah. What I want is I want that Ewok tied up. And I want him sitting in the cargo area. That's a bad idea. No. You put him in somewhere where can't get anywhere if he somehow gets out of the rope. Oh, I'm going to put him somewhere where he can't get anywhere. Trust well, me. Metagamer, you're dead anyway. <laughs> I'm going to stop you there. Because basically you guys are down to uh, the kindness of strangers. Yeah. Yeah. We would have been by this point probably back on a major space lane though. Close to one, yeah. Yeah. 
But for the purposes of the show, I think I'm happy. Leaving us floating in the middle of nowhere. Yep. Yep. Give me one last <laughs> give me one last thing for revenge, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean I'm assuming you're going to torture this and walk to death. No, actually no. I was going to tie him up, sit him in the cargo hold, wait for him to wake up and wonder where he was at, and then space him. Okay. And I'm gonna tell him. You're an asshole. And Diva will get mad at you for wasting air that way. Again, <laughs> you have barely any life support. Again, don't <laughs> really care. <laughs> Why don't you stick him in one of the hatches, the, the airlock, and just shoot him out that way? Because I want, the, I want to be able to see him as he goes you right You can, because it has a window. Nope. I've done <laughs> it this way. It just happened. <laughs> I've spaced an Ewok out of pure anger. And killed the crew. No, we're waiting on the kindness of strangers. And there's no uh, guarantee you'll get it. And we hope that they arrive in time. Well, if you'd like to know if we make it out, then just tell us you want to see this game again. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. This wasn't much of an epilogue. Thank it you was. It wrapped us. up what happens to most of the crew. <laughs> You're dead. He's barely alive. I'm extremely upset. And uh, you didn't figure out anything from your holocron. I call that all wrapped up in a nice bow. Mm. <laughs> oh, and I got to space an Ewok. Like, kind of who doesn't like want to space an Ewok? It's pitch black when they're just floating, waiting for someone to pick them up. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty yep. much what's going to happen here. Yep. That's what I'm imagining. Just lights flickering on the end. Camera pans out. Lights flickering on the inside of the ship. <laughs> sort of like Serenity in the Out of Gath episode. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Right Only we don't have a, an escape pod to travel on to uh, try to get help. Yeah, why the heck do we not have escape pods? Well, there's probably regular escape pods, but yeah. not like a, uh, a whole small shuttle. Yeah, a small shuttle. Which have their own life support, if I'm correct. Escape, escape pods? pods? Yes, but they are also a battery. They're not an engine. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that still adds us a little more time? Yeah, possibly. We'll see how the, how the public likes the crew. <laughs> well, I, I'm just, I got the make do feet, I've got crafts, I've got all this stuff. I could maybe make something happen. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. So right. you need to let us know whether or not you want this crew to continue, and maybe I can save us after I space an Ewok. <laughs> In the far future, maybe. Yeah. If we have a return to this game. Yep. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Jacked for Space Mechanic. <laughs> Join us next time when we talk about uh, where I, they get to ask me choices I've made. I'm going to talk about how I designed the game. They're going to talk about how they designed their characters. And we're going to have some uh, questions from the audience that we've gotten, that we've collected, and we're going to answer them. All right. See you next week. <laughs>